See, when we look into this generation, we were blessed to have a lot of equipments coming one by one, a lot of energy available. I used to look, because this was the topic of discussion, even in the higher levels, not in our level also, that these energy resources are limited. What all we call coal, diesel, or petrol, or crude oil, what is coming from. Or, of course, non-conventional energy sources like uh, solar, wind are having, uh, you know, a lot of potential and it won't end. But whether they can really replace the existing energy sources, primary energy sources. So this was debated and uh, during one such dialogue in New Year's, uh, I think you are uh, here a lot of students are there, computer science students, electric, electronics. I found uh, Bill Gates were, Bill Gates used to be one of their uh, you know, favorite uh, uh, inventor or innovator rather. So he was discussing with some of nuclear scientists. So he told, you, you don't have any creativity among you. You are, mon you know, mountain, monotonous, you will keep doing, work in the day, work in the night. You won't just come out of your place and won't interact with the public to attract better talents in your society, in your nuclear club. So he told, uh, he discussed with many people, and he told, this idea is very good. Why you are not propagating this idea? So I'm here to propagate the same idea. So it is traveling. Before Bill Gates, it was traveling. After tra Bill Gates, it is stationary or standing. So I'm standing here. So standing wave reactor. So this is the energy scenario which we talked about, that uh, it will go up by around 2025, it will peak. Then it will come down. But it cannot stop just like that. You know, our, uh, the world has evolved over a period of billions of years, and it cannot just stop one day. So this was the uh, scenario predicted for UK, because India I did not get this data. So I thought the data available is for UK, so I'll put it. So this is the nuclear, which is a base load throughout the year. This is just for one year. Let us say 2025 is the baseline data, which is used for the energy modeling. So this is, uh, you know, out of total, uh, total peak load of 55 gigawatt, we'll have, except that small peak, nuclear is base, then uh, hydro, that waste heat recovery wave. You can see this is a wave from the sea, which generates power, not the entire hour. Because there are times when sea is also even stagnant. It has its own pain, sorrows, it has to absorb. It will become calm and cool. So, but then now, the wind, it blows again, stop some time, take a break. Uh, solar, you know, normally one third time only is available, not remaining two third we have to support. Uh, coal, yes, it is a big issue. We talk about coal. Uh, global warming and other things. Um, so now, who will fill this gap if this coal is gone, that oil part is gone? So nuclear is uh, so-called a stationary, like uh, it is a constant load. Like it is not increasing, decreasing. It is not going to change. So, so this is the pain which we had. The fear was your. Uh, energy resources may end one day. It's only just a fear, it's not true. So this is a pain. And now, what is the agony in nuclear business? We call it as, um, in the, uh, your thermal power stations where we burn coal or oil, uh, global warming and other things are there. But here, though it is not really relevant in India, it is like uh, after using in the reactor, some fuel is coming out. What we will do with that? These are some of the questions which people raise. And there are cases which are running in even Supreme Court against us in different form. Now. So this is using, how, what to do with the waste? So now, Bill Gates came to the same point. Let us use the waste. Okay. So if you, the hope available is, this statement I picked from Wikipedia. So that is a general way. Now, if you don't know anything, go to Google and just type this number. So what is traveling wave reactor? So 
This is nothing but a type of reactor which was proposed in 1958, not now. It was just an idea and continued as an idea till Bill Gates got into picture. Now, it is not constructed, but at least ready for starting the construction. So this, so you can see that this is a reactor which will breed the fertile uh, material. That is, in the nuclear business, uh, I just want to give that from the fundamental. Nuclear business, we have some sort of enriched uranium, some, uh, if you remember physics or your old chemistry, both are okay. In this, in this area, we merge, nuclear and physics merge at this point. That is, uranium-235 or uranium-238. So generally available is 238. It's a big number. And, uh, and only 0.7% of natural uranium is 235, which only works. Otherwise, you have to enrich it and use it. But this particular reactor, what it can do is, it can use initial charge of 235, or in Indian context, it can be even plutonium. Use that charge and make the fissile material like 238 into, we call, there is a stage 235, 238 become 239, that is neptunium, then to plutonium. So that will continue the job. So this particular reactor, which is envisioned now, can open, so let us say this is a reactor. So let us say this is a zero point, and time, the axial position is around uh, uh, 60 years, uh, 60. So it, it will travel from one end to another end over a period of 60 years, let us say. So the reactor without, see, what, once you cap it, it will run for 60 years. This is the present target. So how it moves, there will be a one breeding wave, another is a, the fission wave. This will move from one end to the other end. Like you can see candle, when you light it, the wax will just burn and go down. So similar event is there. I'll just go through this. So this is the first charge. So you can see the two color. This two color. There are two different waves which are going. The two years, three years, the breeding wave has come. Then uh, this is five years. This is 40 years. This is 60 years. So uh, present generation reactors, you have to shut down in around uh, uh, one year or two year time. Uh, and uh, you have to go there, work, will get some radiation. Sometimes people fear radiation. Uh, somehow I love that. Um, there was an incident like uh, when uh, uh, one of my uh, subordinates who joined recently, he was fearing that he had a lot of pimples on his face. So, and uh, my colleagues told that gentleman that um, you take care of this man, you know, he will go wherever he possible. So you don't follow because uh, he, I won't mind whether it is a field or not a field. So this gentleman uh, was keeping a big distance whenever I go inside, he was giving support for, with the laptop. We have, basically we have to provide some one or two mm camera for the distance and also radiation resistance. So this gentleman was keeping a distance, but seeing my willingness to go and come back and finish the job. He was also very interested. What religion does? If it is not good for the body, uh, he cannot go just like that. Otherwise, I am a normal being. So he, uh, next day, he told me, can I also go and see you, you operate this? I would like to go. He's, he's inquisitive about it. So he got in, and uh, he also worked. Uh, he did not find any problem and came back. Because the general public has uh, fear that radiation comes, I mean, everything is gone. Like X-ray, some people were reluctant to take an X-ray also. So, then after a week, we returned to Mumbai. So it was near, uh, just after Goa, this plant was in Karnataka. When we returned, uh, uh, his, I did not notice his face, because I was looking at his eyes or whether he's okay. We will get symptoms whether um, he's agreeing with us or not. So, my colleagues told, hey, do you really go to the plant or you went to some oil spa or something? Because I asked why. Hey, this gentleman had a lot of uh, you know, pimples on his face. Uh, probably he was licking, uh, taking some street food or something. 
So, uh, but then what happened? Then I collected back, recollected the incidents. He got some dose. So he became very good to look at. Uh, I don't know whether, how many now will queue up in front before our stations to treat like this. So this radiation, I want to just say, is not a big issue, and we pass through that phases. So whenever we talk about uh, the systems, we'll say, are, uh, this is not good. We have problems. Radiation is a problem. But 90% of cancers are treated by radiative sources. Okay. So now, now let us come to the topic. What it, the capabilities of this plan, it breeds. Breeds mean it gives fuel, not uh, consume fuel. Initially, it will consume. Later, it will breed. It can run for generations with the depleted, which is a headache now, which is a pain, which can be converted. Like, you know, either you have to store it, keep it uh, security, uh, then, you know, proliferation, all issues are there. But otherwise, you use it. You have uh, 20 plants, 30 plants, then uh, you'll be demand for that waste. Okay. So, produces electricity for sealed containers. Like, 60 years we need to open that. So, then uh, people are comfortable. Okay, that LWR is light water reactor. We do have systems. So, contains the entire fuel cycle in a single can. Otherwise, we have to repossess it, then we have to bring back. So many issues are there in the present system. So, and this technology is not that different. That is, engineering is not that difficult. So, after Bill Gates, it became a stationary. Sometimes it is standing. Uh, he had proved all these by different methods, and um, regulatory issues are going on. So power density is not that big, or it is similar, 600 megawatt, 1100 megawatt. So this is the type of reactor which will be. And uh, you know, I was, we were part of some of the uh, how to play with the reactor, or how to play with the fuel. So I picked this, uh, you know, this beer bottle, as you might have seen, the bottling plants. They just turn around and come. So here in the plant, for the 60 years, what exactly happens inside is uh, the fuel is just rotating around. Mostly from center to outer. Um, because the actual uh, video uh, is still in the classified document division. So we cannot show you. So this, this concept is now proven. Proven in the sense, technically, uh, in computer, in the long term, long term solutions are done, long term simulations are done. But it's not yet. Uh, not yet fabricated in physical shape. Like, it is in the time frame it is there, but not in the X, Y, Z, like in the physics space it is not available. But we believe it will come one day. So it is sustainable because it minimizes the environmental footprint. Basically, mining is one of the issues, so that can be stopped. Then global warming issues can be wiped out. Then uh, the waste part, which is otherwise we have to store, it is there. And there was a survey done. Uh, in the US, there is a repository known as Pathuga, where all the plants will give their used fuel back to government. So using that fuel alone in the entire world, 80% of the energy requirements can be met. That is the power of this idea. So the what all Elephant we talked about is the fear. It is there will be a day where no energy will be available, uh, no lift will move, no. Okay, that time probably uh, all cars may be electric car, so stop, vehicle will stop. So it will meet the global energy requirement indefinitely for generations to come. We are talking about you know Earth was evolved over billions of years. Probably it can run also another billions of years. So it's safe. It meets all the safety standards which are prescribed as on date, which is a moving target. Like there were, uh, in the newspaper, you can see certain accidents happening. But it's a moving target. From learning from that, those accidents, we are moving forward. So it is affordable. The, one of the issue right now, worldwide, is this plan, whenever we talk about emission, whenever we talk about, um, uh, you know, global footprint over the carbon dioxide. So this issue is not there here. And that has a cost. If you take that cost, we call it as um, carbon footprint. If you take that, 
the energy is affordable and it will uh, it can compete with any other energy resources like wind or solar that's all